If you've got one of the newer international sleepers and you have one of the tail lights out, I'll show you how to sort of diagnose it, do kind of a quick diagnosis. This isn't gonna go over everything, but this should help out. So back there, you're going to find your socket there. You need to find something to put in there. Your finger can work unless it's really corroded and the corrosion bled into there, then it won't come out, but you gotta pry that off. Now, what you can do is set your hazards, and this one is out, uh, the hazard is out. Right in the center there is where you have the positive, and then you can ground on pretty much anything else and that'll tell you if that wiring here is corroded or not but you can also just look at the wiring and see if there's any green in there and if so you want to swap the harness as well so i've got the center there plugged in and any of the other three will work just fine for ground or anywhere else you can find ground but it's dancing all over the place just like this one if you don't have a multimeter with you that is fine one thing you can do if you want to test that the harness is fine is just take this one apart or take it off rather and swap it into this one here and if this light works just fine and this one doesn't or vice versa then that means the light itself is out and your harness should be fine there's some zip ties here you're gonna have to cut off they're they're tied pretty tight up here and when you're done make sure to put this back up as well but that's just the simple light swap and that's only if the harness is still good but that's kind of a, a quick way how to tell and I'll go over how to swap this out there's just three nuts on here and these are the factory ones are 7 16 the one that I have on this one that's been replaced before isn't exactly 7 16 it's something that's a little bit smaller but we're not gonna worry about that we're just gonna take it off and swap it because it does fit so there's three of them go ahead and take those off and then you can put the new one in depending on which side you're doing this will have a license plate bracket uh, each state is different so check with your state if you need this or not but better just to leave it on uh, one side or the other, I don't think any state really matters there, so it could be on either one, but make sure to just leave that on there. By the way, this is the part number in case you need to grab it from a dealership. When you get it back on, make sure this is kind of tight. Sometimes they will not slide in perfectly, or if they're corroded uh, or just cut up, they can kind of bunch up. What you do is you want this all the way in on evenly on each side, so that prevents water from getting in. But if you had corrosion on this previously, that means it's likely shot, so you want to get a new pigtail, which will come with this. And there we've got it in as good as it'll go. It's even on each side, and none of that is sticking out. And the light's working, so that is a quick diagnosis. That doesn't run through nearly everything. If you're having trouble on the harness itself, that's gonna be a different diagnosis. But this is a quick way to tell if your harness is good, and it's just the light that's shot. Thanks for watching.